Hello there, this is Instructor Paul, and in this lecture, we're going to learn about PowerShell arrays. So first, let's start with a definition. Now, if you go to Google and you just ask for the definition of arrays, it will say an impressive display or range of a particular type of thing. An ordered series or arrangement. Those are the two definitions that you get if you just go to Google. Now, you can think of this example sentence. It makes me feel like I'm in English class, but they have an array of swords hanging in the castle. It kind of puts an image in your mind of a castle with, you know, five to six, seven different swords hanging on a wall, whatever the case may be. Okay, kind of gives you an idea. Now, in PowerShell, an array is a collection of elements that are identified by a unique index number. Arrays are similar to PowerShell variables, but they're created and used a little bit differently. The primary differences are a variable stores a single element. An array can store multiple elements, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up PowerShell here. So now I'm here at my PowerShell prompt. I'm logged in as an administrator, or I've launched it as an administrator. And what we're gonna do is look at the differences between creating or declaring a variable and declaring an array in PowerShell. So first with a variable like we know, if we want to make a variable, we can just call it my variable equals, and we'll just say cheese just for the fun of it. So my variable equals cheese. Now we can echo the value of my variable by just typing in the variable name and pressing enter. So there we get cheese. Now echoing or declaring an array and echoing an array is, is not that much different. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say my array is equal to, Instead of just putting in a string, we're going to actually say the at sign. So holding shift and pressing the two key, open parentheses, and then in quotation marks, whatever we want to put in here. So we'll do cheese with a capital C and a close parentheses. Now, if I press enter, I can say my array and I can reference the index number of this element. Now, since this is the first and only element inside of this array, remember computers start counting at zero. So I'm going to type in a zero there. So we're going to say echo my array zero or just my array zero. You can do either one. We'll press enter and we get cheese. We can declare multiple elements in an array just like so. What I'm going to do is type in CLS to clear the screen. And if we want to declare multiple elements for my array, we can do my array is equal to and the at sign open parentheses. You can go ahead and type in a close parentheses if you'd like. And we're just going to do in quotation marks every element we want to do. So we can do element one, comma, element two, and so on and so forth. So we could just go on as long as we wanted. If I press enter and I type in my array, I can reference each one of these individual elements. Oops, not three, sorry. There we go. One thing to keep in mind is that we have one, two, three elements, but computers count at zero. So we actually, the index numbers will be zero, one, and two. That's why when I put in three, it didn't output anything, okay? Now, we could also just output all of this information by just calling the array and not specifying an index number. So if I just type in my array and press enter, it will output all of the elements in the array. Now, a lot of times when you're working with PowerShell arrays, you will be creating an empty array and then adding and removing from that array. So we're gonna talk about how you can declare an empty array. And you can do that by just saying my array or whatever you wanna call this variable or the array name rather. And we would just say is equal to at open and close parentheses. If I press enter, now I can output my array and it will be blank. So generally when you're working with an array, you'll wanna declare it, then you can add and remove unless you have a fixed number of values that you know that you want to put into the array, then you would declare it like so up here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is clear the screen here. Now, if we have this empty array called my array, it's still empty, I can add to it by using my array plus equals and then whatever I want to add to that array. So I could say apple, for example. And if I output my array, it now has apple. Now, if I want to add something else to that, I could say my array plus equals, and I could say olives. Or if I wanted to add multiple elements, I could do the at sign, just like when we declare one, and I could say peppers, comma, olives, and close the parentheses. And now, if I echo or just output my array, we can see that it now contains apples, peppers, and olives. So what we just did, we created a blank array before we cleared the screen. 
We verified that it was still blank by just echoing or outputting the contents of my array. Then we added apple. And when we outputted the contents of the array, we saw it had apple. And then we added peppers and olives by using the plus equal sign. And now we have apple, peppers, and olives. Again, if we wanted to reference a unique element, we could do my array and then whichever one we wanted. So this would be the zero index. This would be one and two. So if I wanted to reference peppers, I could say index number one and it outputs peppers. So let's go ahead and just create a new array and let's go to the screen first and let's call this array alphabet. And this isn't gonna be the whole alphabet, it's just gonna be short, but we'll say is equal to, and then we're gonna use letters from the alphabet in no particular order. In fact, I want you to do them out of order. So I'll start with C and we'll just do D and let's do A, E and B. Okay, so we have alphabet is equal to C, D, A, E, and B. And what we're gonna talk about is how we can actually sort this array. So again, if we output alphabet, it comes up with C, D, A, E, B. Okay, no particular rhyme or reason. Now we can sort this by just piping that to the sort command. So it can either be sort or uh, I believe it's sort dash object. Yeah, so sort is the alias for sort dash object. So we press enter, it will sort it in ascending order. So A, B, C, D, E. We could also do dash descending and get it in the backwards order. Now, keep in mind the alphabet array has not actually been modified. If we compare it with the sort command here, we still have it in the descending order, but here it's still in its original format, C, D, A, E, and B. If we actually wanted to change the sorting of this variable, we would have to run alphabet, and we would have to say is equal to alphabet. So we're essentially gonna replace the entire array. So we're gonna say alphabet is equal to alphabet, but we're gonna pipe that to sort. And if we want it in alphabetical order, we can do that, or we can say descending. I'll just say for this example, we'll just leave it at sort and press enter. Now, when we output alphabet, it's gonna be in alphabetical order because we modified this array by replacing it with this value, which is, what we see right here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay? So we're actually modifying it this time. We're not just manipulating the output. So here we can see A, B, C, D, E, whereas before we were just manipulating the output, right? Now let's talk about how you actually remove an element from an array. Now let's go back to our my array. So I'll just clear the screen really quick. And if we do my array, we have apples, peppers, and olives. Now let's say, for example, I want to remove peppers. How would you go about doing that? There's not actually a remove command. You can't just do my array is, uh, you know, before we use plus equals and I can add something to it, there is no minus equals, unfortunately. So there's no way to just remove something. But just like we did my array is equal to my array type sort, we can also replace this array by outputting or taking the output of this array and using what is called a where command. So if we use where and then in open braces, the dollar sign underscore, which this, these two commands are two, this variable here references whatever is in the pipeline here. So essentially this is gonna equal my array, this variable here. All right, so where the variable is not equal to, we could say peppers. Okay, now if we just output this, we're gonna get the array minus peppers. So we're taking this output and we're manipulating to say, only show the lines where it is not equal to peppers. So if we want to actually modify, we remember we haven't actually modified the array just yet. If I still output my array, I still get peppers. If I wanna actually change that, what I need to do is say my array is equal to my array. Then we're gonna pipe that to where, just like we did when we sorted it, where, dollar sign underscore, and that again is equal to whatever is in this uh, pipeline, which is gonna be this, this, uh, this output right here, where this is not equal to peppers. Press enter. Now, if I echo my array, we get everything except for peppers. So that's one way to go about removing an element from an array. Another way you could do that, let's go ahead and add peppers back in. So my array, quick question, how do we add elements to an array? You remember, it's the plus and equal sign. And we're gonna say, quote peppers, press enter. 
Now, if we output my array, we now have peppers, although it's not in the same order, but that's fine. If we want to remove olives in this case, what we can do is say my array is equal to my array. And then exact same as before, where open brace dollar sign underscore is not equal to. Now, instead of actually typing out olives, we could just say my array and then the index number, which would be one. And then closing brace. So we could either output or put in quotation marks the exact value of the element we want to remove, or if it's a long set of values or something that's a little bit longer than what you want to type, you can just call the index number of that element. All right. So now if we press enter, and if we output my array, we now are missing olives, or we've removed olives, right? Now, the last thing we need to talk about is how do we delete an array? We've talked about creating them, declaring them, adding elements, removing elements, and sorting them. How do we actually delete one? It's really, really easy. So we have my array, which has apples and peppers. If we want to remove this, we simply assign it the value of null. So my array is equal to dollar sign null. Now, if we try to output my array, we get nothing. And this would be how you would just assign the value or the contents of my array to null. All right, so that's all we got to cover for PowerShell arrays. Now, there's a lot more to do with arrays that I haven't covered yet, but I think that's enough for this particular lecture. Mainly, we're going to talk about, you know, looping through arrays and things like that in the, in the future part of this course, but that is all we need to talk about with PowerShell arrays. So great job getting through this lecture. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one.